Hey guys, thought I would try and uh, make a sort of a how-to or tutorial video um, this time about trying to put on some static lights on a body. Uh, this will not be a kit that can be connected to a receiver or a channel or anything like that. It is static on off and that's it. Um, what you will need is, I start with the body of course, you need a drill, a soldering iron, a glue gun, 9 volt battery, 9 volt battery clip, a dip switch, 5 and 6 millimeter bolt, um, drills, 2 resistors, uh, each of 180 ohm, 2 ultra white LEDs, and 2 bright red LEDs. I'm going to start by uh, drilling the holes for. for the uh, LEDs in the body and I'm going to try and place them right on where they would be two holes in the back and in the front one more hole to drill and that is for the dip switch which looks like this that is a six millimeter hole and I'm gonna place that right on the back of the cab Mounting said switch. I'm going to try and adjust the camera. It's quite easy. It's a nut on the bottom and a nut on the top with a washer in between. So you take out the lock washer and a nut, the uh, switch itself, place it underneath through the body and try to get the nut on and secure it. Like so. The LEDs I simply poke through the holes. It's actually quite a good fit. It's going to look a bit ridiculous, but you can try and push them a little bit in so that they don't stick out so much. Do on both. And what I do, I just take my hot glue gun, place a dab of glue on the inside to secure it. Make sure you fasten both of them. Take the red in the back, same procedure behind or in the back. And that's your gluing done. Now Connecting these, or connecting all this together, is actually quite simple. It might seem like a hassle, but it's quite easy. When the position of the uh, switch is on, there is current flowing from the battery through the switch, through one of the resistors, 
and to one of the of the uh, leads. Then from the one lead to the next, lighting up both two, back to the negative on the battery. Two triangles like that, one for the headlights, one for the taillights. And I'm just going to go ahead and solder it, solder it all, all up and I'm going to use some Velcro to connect the battery to the chassis or to the body. So let me do that and I'll get back to you. And there it is, all soldered together and hopefully working. It looks like a mess and I'm going to try and explain it as best I can. This is the 9 volt battery clip. One, the black lead or the negative goes to the short end on one of the two white leads and one of the two short leads on the red LEDs. The positive or red wire from the battery clip goes to the center position on the switch. From there the other or the on switch goes to one of the long leads connected through a resistor to the one of the long leads as I said to one of the or the other of the two LEDs and the same on the white. I'm not very good at explaining so I hope you just just shoot me a comment or ask or I'll even give you the, my email address if you want. I can try and help you. And once you've connected the short lead to the long lead using a loop wire, sort of like this. I'm now going to hook up the battery and see if we have success. I'm going to fasten it later. Let me turn off the... Oh, that was... That was dark. Maybe if I could find the switch. Hey, tail lights, headlights. So let me just get the lighting back on. Sorry about that. I'm not too happy. I, they were a bit darker than I had hoped for, but hey, it is what it is. If you feel like uh, commenting, please do so. Ask me any question you like. I will try to answer as much as I can. And um, I'm going to try and edit into the, the end of this a very short clip of me outside driving in the dark. So thank you guys for watching and uh, take care.